Jay, you and I are Giants fans. It is it is hard to be a Giants fan right now. It's punishing. It's just between the Jets and the Giants, we're just not in a good place as a city. Get about the Jets right now. We're talking <laughs> about the Giants. I understand. Could have won that game yesterday. The defense Gee, at the end of that game was man. so bad. And then, and then the week before, they won the game, and you're called off sides, and it wasn't even off sides. And after you already won, they get to kick the field goal again. Yeah, that, that, that deal, though, is so bad. I was in the, I'm in the city of New York watching football yesterday. The Giant game was in the far left corner, little TV. Probably like a size 20 Little inch. TV. Yeah, it was a little. T- the Giant game. It's so disrespectful. Was, I'm just saying. It was I know. in the far left corner. Shouldn't be called a Giants small. game. Should be called a mini game. Forget See, about a Giants I couldn't, game. I couldn't believe that they lost that game. That's, I mean, I just, listen, I that's two in a row they should have won. Believe that they, I thought that, I thought Swaycon, Swaycon, Saquon had a few good runs there. Yep. I thought Danny Dimes was okay. Uh, Dory Jackson just don't drop the interception. And, and Danny, Danny Dimes, you can hold on to a snap. It wouldn't kill you to not, you know, I mean, like, you know, that, that, they could have scored, they, that, that looked like a touchdown in the making, winds up a field goal. But because, what I, what I would say though, is Jason Garrett, though? Man, I don't even know how they got talked into hiring him as y'all. It's unbelievable. I, I just, Jay, I don't, yeah. <laughs> I don't get okay, it. I have, I have a question to ask you, and it, help me explain this to me. When the football, when the quarterback is a person that probably touches the football more than anybody else on the field, yeah. how, how are there sometimes when I watch Giant other games? Other than the ball boy. Other than the ball boy. How are there times, Max, when I watch Giant games where I feel like, how is Daniel Jones just non existent? Sometimes it doesn't even feel like he's on the field. I think he's been good this year to tell no, you. He's been truth. good. He's fine. I mean, this this past game, so it seems like he just. No, he was fine. He was fine. He, the, de- they, the Giants' defense at the end of that game couldn't hold anything. Yes, yeah. they could have won the game. He played well enough for them to win the game. By far, despite not, he didn't turn, he didn't cause any interceptions. No. He didn't score. He didn't score. But a he did enough for them to win the game. That defense gave up the goods in the end. I, I understand that. It's just sometimes when I watch. Dynamic quarterbacks who take games over. He's not I, Justin I, Herbert, who who was the sixth pick the year the year. Oh uh, God, y'all after. need to stop dreaming. Why? Because they, they, it's not cool to say the guy. If he would have came out, then we would have. Yeah. Well, if if was a fifth, guess what? But in the Giants' case, they used the second overall pick on a running back. You know, they they can't get the offensive line right. They finally draft a quarterback, and he's you're right, Key. He, he ain't okay. bad. He ain't bad. But like, it, you but see you other quarterbacks get, drafted, you're like, oh man, but, if we but, had that but, guy. But you only get a handful of wild factors. Mm. There's only a handful of wild of factors. Justin Herbert. Think mean. about all these quarterbacks that came out this year. Yeah. Well, think it's about still super no, but early. Th- but think about. None of them have given you anything in a game this year to go, wow. Yeah. I mean, that was a nice throw that Trevor Lawrence put on the back pylon over the guy's head the other day, yesterday. But none of them have given you any wow factor. And so all I'm saying is Daniel Daniel Times, Daniel Jones has given me enough to say, okay, he's not great. He's not bad. Yeah, he's cool. Yeah, that, that's I what I just and said. And that's good. I agree. That's it's that's not, good. It's, it's not bad. Is it good if all the other parts of your team are that's good, good, which they're not? And Mount Blake Martinez out for the year with the ACL. The talent is there. That's what I'm saying. The that's talent, what I was the, getting the, ready to get to. I'm about to say they got some talent, man. No, I think I think they have talent. I don't know what the coaching situation is though. You know, are they buying in? to what the coaching staff is selling. Because typically, when you have talent and it looks like this, they're not buying in, typically. But you know what bothers me? If you're going to have that kind of team where you're drafting Kadarius Toney and you're drafting offensive players and all this, if you're the New York football giants and your O-line stinks for years and you don't have edge rushers for a couple of years – it's one thing to stink, but you're staying true to your identity or whatever. It's another thing. You stink. You got no identity. You're bad on the Zero offensive identity. line. You can't get pressure off the edges. It just doesn't even feel like your team. Man, if 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 they if they gonna replace if they're replacing uh, Jason Garrett at some point in time as yeah. office coordinator, is a dude that's on the streets mm-hmm. right now that I believe will take that talent. Just between you and me, Key, who is it? Todd Haley. Mm. Todd Haley could be the Giants offensive coordinator and that the offense would look different. And, 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 and I'm only saying this because I know. And a lot of times people look at his 
personality as assist as head coaches and can't get over that his personality has nothing to do with how your offense looks because that that offense is going to look good. I just go back and think about Ben Roethlisberger and when he had Ben. Ben has best years under him. They didn't have a great re- working relationship, but when he left. Ben looked like a shell of himself when he was gone. And, I, and then I look at when Arizona, when he took Kurt Warner to the Super Bowl, he was their offensive coordinator, and they went to the Super Bowl. He left, and Kid Wilson, I got fired. Or then I look at Kansas City, their offense with Matt Castle was a good offense with Dwayne Bowe. Matt Castle went to the damn Pro Bowls, and they went to the playoffs. I'm like, I'm like that's a dude to me. That's the type of offensive coordinator the Giants need with – Okay, I'll, Darius, I'll make, Tony, and all them dudes. I'll make that trade Barkley. right now. Would you give up? Well, I, would, I, would, I take Todd Henry for think, Jason think Garrett about, right now. Think about I, when I he feel had. Like I've seen what Jason Garrett has been able to do with the Dallas think Cowboys about, for years. Think about when he had Le'Veon Bell in Pittsburgh and how dynamic that offense was. Yeah. And Antonio Brown, they Killer got bees. they got they got Kenny Galladay, who y'all can keep him. He was getting strapped yesterday. I sent you the the text. Um, Week three, yeah. Tony, Evan Ingram, Saquon Barkley. I mean, you got the shepherd. You got some pieces. And Daniel Jones is not bad, man. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.